Alright, here I go. This is it. <coughs> <coughs> so, Tim, yeah, dweeb. Um, yeah, man. <laughs> you know what, I'm not sorry I put that video out there. And I don't mean that uh, maliciously. First of all, you need to know that, um, how's that? Uh, I'm not judging anybody. I'll put it this way. I put it out there for myself, and there's a reason for that, and I'll just could I try to keep it focused on myself, because actually when I watched your response, I realized that, like, for everything you said, I have a counterpoint. And I have this feeling that if I counterpointed all your counterpoints, you would have other counterpoints to counterpoint uh, my counterpoints to your counterpoints. So I, I suddenly, uh, in doing that, I kind of flash back to uh, <laughs> Saturday Night Live, uh, uh, the news with uh, Jane Curtin and Dan Aykroyd going uh, point counterpoint. <laughs> and because I don't want things to devolve, I think maybe I throw my hands up. Um, but, um, it's to protect myself. I, I have definite boundaries when it comes to that and keeping the focus on myself because I cannot go there. And that's just the way it is. Frequently I find that when I tell people that, um, they get defensive. And maybe I'm being proactively defensive, but to, to me it's for a good cause. And if anyone's ever seen my maniac, they would agree no doubt about it, hands down. Um, it's, uh, it's not what I want to do today. It's really not. I, um, I spent 25 years doing that shit. <coughs> and, um, uh, I was, pretty much convinced that um, I was kind of guru on the block and uh, you know, that I was um, in touch with the cosmos and nirvana and um, that it was a spiritual quest and it didn't turn out that way at all. <laughs> and um, call me it could well be that I've now, I've now officially turned out to be the thing that I profess to hate for most of my life. But um, I don't even, I really, like, I swear to God, man, don't get upset. I'm going to get to that to say, I, I don't believe there is any recreational use of it. I, I want to be clear. I want to be clear. And, um, Part of the reason I decided to quit was, ho however odd it sounds, um, I felt disconnected from myself, and I did, and I did not want to die hard. Mm. Excuse me, and I realized that I didn't want to face anything that way because, you know, if I'm going to use up the time that I have, I want to, you know, I decided that I wanted to have the ex the experience fully have the experiences that were mine, and that I didn't want to have any mitigating um, anything in there, aside from the natural ones that I can't get rid of just by virtue of being human. Um, and, uh, and like I said, I was a maniac. But I have to be very careful about that, because there's no way in hell um, I want to go back to that. And um, I just so enjoy... Um, Well, I, I enjoy the clarity of mind. I enjoy the stuff that I've gotten in my life that I never would have dreamed possible that that, that was fucking up. And uh, the other, the other actuality about the, my pot use was, um, and <laughs> it was 
was more than just pot, and it was more than just a little pot. And it wasn't Mexican dirt weed from the 70s anymore, either. Um, it, it was, uh, yeah, it was a nonstop occupation. But, um, I, shit, man, you see what happens, man? My mind's going, I can't remember shit anymore. I, oh, yeah, transness. This shit started right around that time, and I'm convinced now that, that uh, really one of the ways that I've been squelching all this inside myself was through substance use, because the, start the substance use started when I became aware, and I've always known that I was different, and um, somehow that allowed me to wade through, and then I, you know, um, tried to smooth things over inside myself with other... Uh, fantastic aspirations to like um like the starving artist scenario and the rebel which is goes right along with the starving artist and, and um all kinds of weird twisted bohemian shit and it's uh, the story as I can tell <laughs> yeah um so so I'm really happy to be rid of that because I don't think that um I know for a fact that I couldn't have uh, addressed this issue at all that had I been clouded in that way. And I'll, I'm referring to the word clouded uh, in terms of myself. Other people I really can't speak for. I get unhappy when I hear about it because um, I feel like it's a big barrier to my socialization with other people. And I don't say these things because I want to discount other people or, um, you know, diss them in any way. Um, I'm saying it because I know myself. And I'm not willing to compromise uh, where I'm at. Um, so, it's not malicious. And I think I needed to get that out there. Um, See, like, so, like, I get, uh, I get a lot out of your videos, and, um, it's, it's cool because we're the same age, and, um, <coughs> um, and I need that, and I want to continue, because this stuff, uh, has been, um, helping me, and by helping me, I mean, um, Owning up to myself, being able to move forward, being more honest, you know, and um, and not trying to stuff this whole issue or explain it away to myself in some way that makes rational sense so that I can reconcile myself with the world and all. So, <coughs> you know, I guess I'm just saying don't be put off. I'm going like this. But I'm not, if that makes any sense at all, um, because I have to. Uh, yeah, I have to. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have to. Um, so, uh, I'm, I'm going to slip into the count point, counterpoint, the whole, Jane, you ignorant slut, if you, I know you must have watched this, I know, because, you know, I have these thoughts, man, and, and it's, it's better to be out front with people than anything else, you know, but I, I will never allow myself to get into situations where I'm, <coughs> I'm somewhere where it's immediately, uh, physically available, because I know that I cannot trust myself. I tried that once near the beginning, and, you know, and all this stuff about just saying no, and, and that lasted about two seconds, and I was like, yo, piss that over here, man, so, um, so, yeah, that's why, um, yeah, and, and I'm on this big campaign and crusade about cigarettes, too, uh, you know, I th I'm convinced that that's a large part of why my voice is messed up, Lord knows what